so many have asked, how do I do my curly hair? So this is my attempt at showing it. First of all, you start with clean hair. I shampoo my hair twice because I only shampoo my hair twice a week. If you shampoo your hair every day, then you don't have to shampoo it twice. But if you only shampoo every other day or anything else, you need to always shampoo your hair twice. I personally do not love a co-wash. Um, I like shampoo. Also, your first shampoo, get you a baking soda shaker and shake a little baking soda in the shampoo, mix that up, wash your hair with that. What that does is that removes all the odors of the world. You know how your hair just traps scents in your hair? Go hang out by a campfire and uh, you'll know what I mean if you're not already aware of what I'm talking about. So the baking soda is gonna clear all that out. It's also going to take away any product buildup. Um, wearing my hair curly, I wear tons and tons of products. I, you know, curly hair loves moisture, it loves products, it just does. You also have to find out what works best for you. So this is what works best for my hair. I have thick, coarse hair with a looser curl, but I scrunch it into submission and sometimes it gets really curly and sometimes it's just curly. You know, curly hair does its own thing. So my hair has been shampooed twice and conditioned rinsed out, I went and got dressed, did all my things, and then I have re-wet my hair. So my hair is sopping wet, which is how I like to start, and it is combed out. So with your sopping wet hair, I did not wring it out in the towel at all, you're gonna take a heavy conditioner. Again, you have to figure out what works best for you. All products are listed below. And I take a little bit, I take this much, maybe a smidge more. I actually leave this in my hair as a styling product. So I kind of just, thank you. Throw my hair upside down and just run this through like you're doing. My dog is back, hello poodle. Run this through your hair. You just wanna get it everywhere. And one of the techniques I'm gonna be doing is called ribboning. You take your fingers and pull it through your hair. You want to smoosh that product in everywhere. And all of this product application takes longer than you want it to, and it takes longer than you think it will. True story. Whenever I'm doing someone's hair in the salon, they're always like, I don't spend this much time putting my product in. And I'm like, I know, but you ought to. So for great results. Now, because my hair is a lighter curl, I need gel for hold, but I don't want it to be crunchy, so I mix in with a cream. If you have super curly hair, like when you see how my hair is just kind of barely wavy, like if your hair is wet and it is curly ringlets, you probably just need a cream. Um, Cause your hair's already gonna have enough curl, but I need a little extra help. So I take, and again, the products are listed below. This is my Diva Curl cream and my Diva Curl Archangel Gel, but I'll put down the product they have now. They've actually discontinued this, but as a hairstylist, I had access to the product way after it was discontinued, so I have bottles and bottles of it, and I love it. They had a lawsuit. You know, we're not going to get into that. Okay, product on your hands. I start with my ends, and I am just glossing my ends. Notice I did not go... I did not do that, okay? You're just glossing your ends. You want even distribution of the product. After you feel like you've glossed all your ends, you start the ribboning process again. And you're going to ribbon your fingers through your hair. This camera angle is working way better than I thought it would. So I've mostly, I've just done the ends all over. If you have a frizzy spot when you get done, that means you missed a spot. So you just, it's a learning process. It is a for real learning process. Um, now I'm gonna do the same amount of product again. You have to figure out what works for you with the amount of product. And this time we're gonna do the roots because you want product on your roots. You want your roots to have curl. So I throw my hair upside down again and lightly kind of dance my fingers on my scalp and through my roots. And once I feel like I've done that well, 
I'm gonna hit over here a little extra just with the product that was left in my hands because a lot of times I get frizz right in here. So I'm gonna love that area. I'm not sure if right now I'm overworking it when I blow my hair dry. Possibly. And you can comb your hair out when you've got conditioner in it in the shower or when you get out of the shower, but you don't comb your hair out anymore. This was it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you curled your hair or combed your hair because that was it. That's the only time you comb it. Now you just scrunch it. And can you hear the squish? You want to hear the squish. You know, there's lots and lots of curly girl methods on how to do your hair. And my sister does, or did, I don't know that she still does it. She would do the t-shirt plop method. I never tried that on my hair because my hair needs all the volume and help it can get. And if I were to plop my hair in a t-shirt, it would just be flat as a flitter. That's not gonna work for my curl. It worked for her, it looked great. Um, curly hair is a lot of work. It's a lot of work on the front end, but once you do that work on the front end, then my hair is good for like three or four days after that. So my next secret trick, I'm gonna move this down. I have a bunch of stuff on my desk right now. Let's see. Two beverages, I feel like I'm at work. I always come into work with all kinds of beverages. Like, I don't know, like I work in the desert and I don't have anything to drink, I don't know. But I've always got my water and sometimes my liquid IV, which I really meant to get one right now, but I don't have one. Okay, so you're not gonna wash your hands because you're about to stick your hands all up in your hair. So I just wipe my hands off on a towel. Um, I hate having product on my hands. Like I have my wedding ring off. I don't wanna get product all up in there. I don't even always wear jewelry, but since I was filming a video, I did. Okay, this is really cool. Now, if you need to see this up close, um, just zoom in with your fingers. I part my hair on this side, so I'm gonna part my hair, and then I'm gonna part my hair again. What, but hold on. Okay, so I wear my hair over to this side. This side is naturally just going to be bigger, but this side will be flatter because there's not as much hair over here. Hair hack. Watch this, this is crazy, but it's true. Take your finger, pull this up, grab a piece of hair. You're gonna take a double prong clip. You know, the clips your granny used to roll her hair. Boom, okay, you've got two of these in here, right? And you want this, sometimes I kind of stab myself in the head with it. You want it to be standing up. You wanna pull the hair away from the scalp. If you are not pulling your hair away from the scalp, you are not doing the magic trick, okay? And I need you to do the magic trick because it's a game changer. So next, part your hair kind of where you part it. Doesn't really matter. Now, when you go to clipping, putting more clips in, you wanna make sure you're not grabbing hair you've already clipped. You know, we just, we wanna keep these all fresh and all, off the scalp as much as possible. So you just grab it and clip it. And this does take a little bit of practice, but that's okay. You got nothing but time, practice this. Don't practice this the day you're doing something important. Okay, I like that to have a little lift in my uh, crown. So I'm gonna pinch up some hair, clip it. Come over here, pinch up some hair, Clip it. Again, I used to really struggle with this, making sure I wasn't double clipping the hair because you don't want to double clip. Um, come over here, pinch up the hair. Come over here, do another. I like to go across my front. Okay, there we go. There's the clips in my hair. They are all standing at attention. Now, as I start to blow my hair dry and scrunch it, they're going to fall down. They're gonna do whatever. Re-stand them back up. Pay attention to them. The other day, we were in Vegas. We were at my cousin's house. I didn't have my whole setup at my cousin's house. And so I was just blowing my hair dry and doing all the things I do, but I did not have a mirror to check how my hair was behaving and what the clips were doing. And so actually, my hair did not do as well because I didn't make sure that my clips were all standing up. I am very extra about the hair, I am. But I want it to look great and I get 
so many compliments on it. Also, I have a lot of layers. Um, longer layers on top, but just all kinds of layers through here. You really need to go to someone who has curly hair and loves it. Um, and you know, with social media, those people are pretty easy to find these days. So you need to find a hairstylist that loves curly hair. And even with that, I went to a girl who loved curly hair and she completely changed the shape of my hair and she did her own thing. And I had like a whole thing going on and she changed it. So, you know, it, it is still, um, it's still a learning process, you know, finding, finding who is gonna be the best person for you to, to cut your hair. So this is, this is the XL Gamma Plus. It's a great hair dryer. I love it for blowing my hair dry curly. I think it makes the prettiest curl. It's expensive. It was $300. They do not guarantee this hair dryer. True story. They said they did. They did not. So, buyer beware. What I try to do now when I use it is I push the button over here, the cool off button and cool off the motor before I turn it off, seeing if that's going to help it to last longer. Um, but I do really like this hair dryer, <laughs> even though it didn't last as long as it should have. And they did not, they did not, um, what is it? They, I don't know. They didn't do their guarantee. It was very sad. Okay. So now I'm going to scrunch and I always start with my head upside down. And if this video works correctly, I will be speeding this up and you won't have to really watch the whole thing. Also, I do not do this on high heat. I do it on medium heat and then I even lower it to low heat at the end. I don't know why, it's just what I do. Okay, and you're gonna scrunch your hair and scrunching is squeezing, that's it. You do not run your fingers through your hair, you squeeze it. This is the only thing you're allowed to do to your hair, period. It's the only thing. Okay, I cooled my hair dryer down. That was weird. Maybe I turned it back on on accident. Okay, anyway, the clips are falling down. And so you're just gonna re-clip them standing up because you want this volume. This is going to give you volume. It makes for amazing hair. Amazing. Fill up underneath here. Do you need to pull those up? Yes. And it doesn't really matter. You don't have to necessarily look at them. You just want them out from your head. And then, okay. Now, did you notice I scrunched the entire time? You have to scrunch your hair the entire time. Do it my way one time and just see what happens. 
It makes all the difference in the world. It makes your curls big and bouncy and so pretty and sexy. Now, secret weapon, been around forever. We sell this at the salon. Um, contact us, we'll ship you some. It's the best. It's called Aerogel. It's the hairspray that thinks it's a gel or the gel that thinks it's a hairspray. I don't know. It's a medium hold. It does not build up on your hair. It is amazing and it is fantastic for curly hair. I use it on everybody, but curly hair, mm. yeah, it's, it's the shiznit. So you always want to shake it. You always have to shake this because it's a hairspray gel kind of thing. Did I say it doesn't build up on your hair? It's bizarre, but it doesn't. It does not build up on your hair. So what I always do, so I am at about, I'm about 85% dry right now. I might even be almost to 90. If I'm using a different hair dryer, you just wanna go to like 70% dry. I know it's weird. And in fact, with a different hair dryer, you're probably just gonna wanna let it dry the rest of the way natural. True story. I know, I know, it's crazy. If I'm not using this hair dryer on my client, I do not blow their hair all the way dry. I dry it about 70, 75% dry and we quit. And I'm like, it's gonna continue to air dry and it will just get prettier as it does. And it, it will, it will. So, anywho, shake your hairspray and Let me move my chair and turn your head upside down. Spray that all over. Turn your head right side up. Spray it all over. Scrunch it in. You don't want to spray too much. You don't want to spray too little. I know, it's weird. I'm going to pull my chair back. I don't know. I just didn't want hairspray on my chair. So my hands are kind of producty. Sometimes I go wash them and sometimes I just wipe them off. I will wash them at the end for sure. Okay. You can take one finger and move the hair where you want it. Readjust your clips if you need to. One of mine has fallen down. Where's this other one back here? There should be one right there. Let's add one, okay. Why isn't there one here? Um, and then sometimes that, this is my little problem spot du jour. I'm gonna spray it with a little more hairspray and wish it the best of luck. And so now it is air drying and it is just doing its thing naturally. And at this point in the process, this is when I start doing my makeup. So I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll be back. I'm back, done my makeup. And now we're gonna pull out these clips. This requires patience. You do have to take your time and make sure you're not frizzing your hair because that is the last thing we want in the whole wide world. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, yeah. So you, you do exercise patience with this and it can be done. If I can do it, you can do it. What's happening? Okay. So it's about 30 minutes has lapsed since um, I turned off the hair dryer. Oh, that one had fallen down, darn it. And my hair is still just a little damp. And if so, if, if I was at home and just had any a regular hair dryer, didn't have my silly three hundred dollar hair dryer, I would um, still do this. If you're at home, pull out you're gonna pull out all your clips and you're going to um, scrunch your hair just a little bit more. It also helps to fluff it. I mean, I am a kid of the '80s, so I like big hair. And I cannot lie. Ooh, that one came out really easy. And then kind of like stick your hands in here underneath and just feel with anything happening. Sometimes you'll stick your hands in and uh, find a big hunk of wet hair. 
And this is what I do when I wake up in the morning. I gently stick my hands in at my scalp and just kind of wiggle it back and forth and do this upside down. And then I throw my head back and then I'll just kind of pull the hair into place and spray it with hairspray. And that is how I fix my hair every day. And I make sure that the back is good. But we are not to that point yet. So we're gonna scrunch it a little bit more and blow it dry a little bit more. I'm gonna turn the heat down to the lowest setting. So this last blow dry, I don't have to scrunch it as much. I did when I was doing right through here, I actually just pulled that up just that high. I mean, so I'm just like, just pulling it like just that and just blew that dry just to help, help with the volume right there. And it's looking great. Yeah. So my dad built houses and a lot of times with doing hair, I, it makes me think of house analogies, but think about when they're building a house and, you know, they pour the concrete and then they do the framing and, you know, it just looks crazy. It doesn't, you know, I mean, you know what's happening, but it doesn't look right. It doesn't look right until the very end. So don't worry that your hair is looking crazy right now because you're just building the structure. You're still working on it. It's not finished yet. It can look crazy. As long as there's no frizz, oh, if there's frizz, this is the best trick. This is the time to do it. So if you've got pieces that are frizzy, and actually the other day when I did my hair, I found several. Um, like here's a piece that, that could use this little trick I'm gonna talk about. Go in your bathroom, turn the water on, just run your hand under the faucet and then pull your fingers through wherever there's a frizzy hair. Like I had three the other day. Just, and it'll be wet and then just kind of scrunch it and just let it dry. It will be fine and it will be curly. Or if you get a straight piece, you could try that. Cause you know, all hair does not curl the same. It's true. It's very true. Now, if you have half your head is straight and half your head is curly and that happens to a lot of people, my apologies to you. And I don't know how to fix that unless you want to get a crimp and iron and uh, crimp it in there, which you could do. It's a lot, you know, it's kind of a lot, but Anyway, fix your little frizzy pieces, but just remember this is supposed to look crazy right now because you're you're not done yet. You're still building your house. You're still working on it. I don't know that my hair could have done any better for a hair video. It is stunning and it's not even done yet, but it's almost done. We're very, very close. I'm tickled with how this turned out. It is great. So remember our hairspray trick from earlier? We're just gonna do it again. Now that the hair is dry, you shake your hairspray. Don't forget to shake it, shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture and spray it all over as best you can. And then scrunch it. So now because the hair is dry, it's kind of sticky when you do this. You're like, oh, that's kind of sticky. It's okay. 
What it does is it gives your hair shine, definition. It helps the curl to look even better. True story. Then I sling my head back. It depends on what you're wanting to do with your hair. I like it out of my face. I do. So, now you take one finger and you just kind of start sticking it where you want it. I like, I like to see, and this works best when I have, like, you can see how long my layers are on top. So when I have some layers up here, I can really pull this top out for a little definition so you can see the curl pattern going back. And sometimes I'll come back and spray that with a little hairspray and I'll kind of have a lot of hairspray on it already today. I'm, I don't know how that happened. But sometimes I'll go in and spray up in here, you know, just to, I want this to hold and I want it to hold for days and days and days. Now, when I go to sleep at night, and this is what I do every night, that looks great, is I literally push this up and lay down. So I just sleep like that. And however I roll around, if I'm on this side, if I sleep on my back, I push that up, I just push it up. So when I wake up, it's mostly pretty good. Um, I always have to kind of redo up through here a little bit. I mean, this did great. This is a great hair day. I am excited. And I like for all of this to kind of go back and be like, oh yeah, look, I woke up like that even though I didn't. And it's full of product. Look, there's a piece that's kind of straight if I wanted to get, you know, if I wanted to get a little water. It also shows up more because there's a highlight in there. Blonde hair looks drier than dark hair. True story. Yeah, there's a lot. I guess I did a lot of hairspray. I knew it was going to throw me off doing it for the camera, you know. It's just like, I don't know. This isn't quite the same as just standing in my bathroom and doing my thing, but it turned out great. It did, it turned out really, really good. I'm digging it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. That looks great. Okay, I know I keep saying that. Um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please just ask me. I am here for all the questions. If you've got things that work better for you, leave that in the comments. Cause you know, all us curly girls, we're always looking for the next big trick. I only learned the trick with the clips. <laughs> there was a hair on it. Um, a year ago and I'm 50. So, you know, you got any tricks, any things you do that make your curls look amazing, let us know and please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.